What I'm going to go over in this vodcast is how we got all those labels on our periodic table. In electron configurations, there's this rule called the Aufbau Principle, and the Aufbau Principle says that electrons like to fill low energy first and high energy last. So when we talk about filling low energy first, we're talking about the first energy level, the second energy level, the third energy level. But the problem is, once we get into the third energy level, orbitals start to overlap, and the order can get a little confusing. By putting labels on our periodic table, it can tell us exactly which order to follow so we know what to do when we're doing our configurations. So the first thing that you want to do is on your periodic table, I would like you to pencil in a helium right here. So we're going to draw helium in there. We're not going to erase it on the other side, but we want to pencil it in there because we're going to count helium as part of this second group on our periodic table for the time being. And then the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have the energy levels labeled. Um, on your periodic table, these numbers are most likely already there. My periodic table is going to look slightly different than yours. But the energy levels would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Those would be the energy levels. The next thing I would like you to do is block off the sublevels. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to draw a box around the S sublevel. So if you grab those first two columns and you can take some Sharpie markers if you have some or any kind of highlighter that'll work on your periodic table and block that off and label that as the S sublevel. All the elements in this block are in the S sublevel. And then if you want to, you can switch colors and come over here. and we're going to label the S block. So we're going to go right along here, excluding helium. Down the side, grab those guys on the bottom row. And we're going to label that as the P block. And then if you want to switch colors again, you can label the D block, which would be in the middle. And then the F block would be the elements down at the bottom here. So pause the vodcast for a minute and go ahead and make sure you have those labels on your periodic table before we move on. All right, now that you've done that, what we'll look at is the order in which the electrons fill these orbitals. The first place that electrons are going to go is into the 1s sublevel. We call this the 1s because it's the first energy level, s sublevel. The second place electrons are going to go is into the 2s, second energy level, s sublevel. If you then come across the periodic table, the next group that you run into would be called 2p. 2p because this is the second energy level and the p sublevel. So we have 1s, 2s, then we come across 2p. You read this just like you would a page in a book, left to right down the page. Then the electrons would go into the 3s and the 3p. Again, this is called 3p because third energy level, p sublevel. Now you would expect 3d to come next. However, this is where the overlap occurs, where the 4s is actually lower energy than the 3d. So we would call this group the 4s, but then right here, we would want to label this group as the 3D row. So if you stick that label on your periodic table, that'll help remind you that this row is called the 3Ds. Then we have the 4Ps. In the next row, we would start with 5S. Again, fifth energy level, S sublevel. So this would be the 5S. This group would be called the 4Ds. This is still the five P's. The only place that it's offset is here in the middle. The sides are still the same. Then we would come down to the six S. You would expect the five D to come next. However, if you look at the atomic numbers, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, you realize we gotta jump down here first before we do the five D's. So after the six S, 
we would label this section as the four F's, okay, all the way down the line, then look, 69, 70, 71, number 72 is back up here, so we're going to label this group the five D's, then we have the six P's, 7S, and then 87, 88, 89, 90, so we're going to come down here and label this group the five F's, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104's right here, these would be called the 6 D's and then the 7 P's. So the order that we follow for electrons to fill orbitals is just across and down the periodic table. So we do 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, then we come down to 4f's, 5d, 6p, and then the last row, 7s, 5f, 6d, and 7p. You really don't have to stress over the order too much down here when we get to um, period 6 and 7 um, in the F block down here because those elements don't undergo the chemistry that we're going to study anyway. Those are all radioactive. So most of our focus is going to be kind of from here on up in the periodic table as we go through this. So what you want to do at this point is make sure you have all of these labels on the periodic table and then check in with the next vodcast and that will give you the lesson that we follow after that.